Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I know this has been swirling on social media and I've got something to say about this. We're, today we're talking about the Mordecai and Chile One saga. Now, for those of you that, let's begin with Mordecai. The, the name Mordecai comes from the Old Testament in the book of Esther. There's a character in there named Mordecai. There's this young man, a young Zambian guy. I haven't heard his music, but lots of social media people have sort of vouched for him and said he's a really good kid. He's very good at what he does. And I've got no doubt. I'm, I imagine he does. But here's the problem I have with social media. Social media now, uh, it's, you're not letting kids become creative. You're putting them too far ahead before their time. You're not allowing them to grow through the process. You're turning them into superstars instantly without having to walk the walk. Are you hearing that? I mean, some of you, you hear one song and you think, oh, he's the greatest of all time. Let the kid become creative. I, I remember not too long ago, Beyonce, the famous Beyonce said, you know, people don't, people don't appreciate a body of work anymore. In the old days, you had to produce albums, entire albums over, over time to gain legitimacy in your craft, in your art of music and creation of music. Now, you sing one line in a song, the whole Zambia just wakes up and says, oh, he's the next greatest thing. He's the next best thing. He's the best thing that's ever happened to music. You're not allowing these kids to, to come out of their comfort zone, to explore, to take risks, to experience success and failure. You're turning them into mega superstars on Facebook and they haven't even proved themselves. I'm not saying this kid is bad. He's, I know he's awesome because many of you have said he's awesome. I know he is. But when you turn them into superstars before they've gone through, before they've been baptized in fire, and what I mean by that is before they've, 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 they've walked their journey, don't turn kids into superstars before their time. Allow them to walk through the process. Come on, guys. And then you've got this thing now on social media. You're pitting them against each other. No, this one is better than this one. This one is better than this one. You shouldn't do that. And, and, and I blame social media. It's, you know, back in those days, back in, in the... The, the early the 80s the 90s kids didn't have to deal with this sort of thing you had to prove yourself you know you have to you have to prove your craft you have to prove legitimacy of your craft not now now you just post a video you sing four lines and the whole country goes nuts and they start saying oh he's the guys let these kids be kids that's my point all right, um, let's talk about Chile 1. Again, there's something that's going on with Chile 1. Apparently, there's some people that are saying that he's singing somebody else's songs. Let's talk about intellectual property, because I think this is a very... Oh, look at that. I put a, a small I instead of a capital. Let me change that. You know, I've got this habit. I think I'm too much, I'm too much in a hurry, you know. Sometimes I do these things. I'll fix all this in post. And here it is. There it is. I'll fix it. I'll get it right in a moment. Boom. 
intellectual property. Let's talk about that. So the story is that apparently Chile Juan has been singing a song or singing some type of experience and somebody is accusing him of stealing this song or this experience and he's beginning to sing this song or this experience this song and experience that belongs to someone else that's the rumor that's the accusation and i saw some lady on facebook saying that no we're very upset that chile is singing these songs when he knows good and hell well these songs belong to somebody else which brings up the topic of intellectual property this is a very very important topic let's let's define intellectual property it simply means the creations of the mind such as inventions uh, literary artistic works designs symbols names and images used in commerce so for instance if you write a song you write song a, a song and then you go to the music studio you create the song you copyright the song okay now let's define copyright because i know that's you know we have to define this every step of the way so that we are all on the same page when you copyright copyright simply means an exclusive legal right given to the originator so for instance if i write a song okay i copyright it i go to the studio legally i say this is my song and i do all the requirements i fulfill all the statutory requirements that make that song my song from a legal point of view that's my song you can't say that's my song for that song to be your song you have to go through the legal process you have to have copyrighted the song not copywritten copyrighted the song you have to have copyrighted the song then legally the song is yours it belongs to you so whenever somebody sings lines from your song or sings a tune from your song you can legally sue them take them to court and say you show the court that look this this is my copyrighted work this person uh, uh fab he's made copies of my song or sang lines from my song it's big business you know you can't just wake up and start singing somebody's song or somebody's line i'll give you a very uh famous uh example many years ago michael jackson recorded an album called thriller some of you know this and there was a very famous song in there want to be starting something you remember that song Somebody tell me in the comments, want to be starting something, you got to be starting something. You want to be starting something, you got to be starting something. To how to get over, yeah, yeah, get up, get under, yeah, yeah, you're stuck in the middle, yeah, yeah. That song. Well, there's a line in that song where Michael Jackson says, Mama say, Mama say, Mama kusa, Mama say, Mama say, Mama kusa, if you think I'm down in Afisa, if you think I'm down in Afisa, if you think I'm down in Afisa. Now, that line michael didn't originate that line just that line alone was in that song that line came from a man by the name of manu dibango and guess what manu dibango did he sued michael jackson he said mike <laughs> i'm sitting at home and i'm listening to the radio and all of a sudden your song comes on want to be starting something and then i recognize the line in your song if you tango down in afisa if you tango down in afisa mama say mama say mama kusa mama say mama say mama kusa manu dibango said to mike mike that's my line and i haven't seen any checks guess what they went to court they settled the thing out of court michael had to pay him why because that song was copyrighted but if you don't do any of that if you don't copyright your work if you don't legally create a situation where the rights and privileges of that song are legally yours and all you do is wake up and say no that's my song or oh, that's my experience 
I was in a car crash. Why is I in I was in a car crash. Wanjibi that story and do I become It doesn't work like that. And this is this is something that here in Zambia we really need to pay attention to. Because there are so many kids that are being ripped off. So many kids. You know, they don't have a platform. They've got the talent. You know, they say something. They've got a song. They sing a song. A big artist hears the song and says, Ooh, that's going to be a hit. The big artist who has all the equipment, he has all the wherewithal, he has the dexterity, he has the ability, he has all the connections, he knows all the DJs in town, he goes to a studio, copyrights it, boom, before you know it, the song is out. And the kid who owns the song hears the song and says, wait a minute, that's my song. But if he tries to take the big artist to court, guess what? There is no legal trail. The young man didn't copyright his song. So one of the lessons here is don't share your vision with other people. You know, don't sit around with big artists and say, hey, listen, I got this song, man. What do you think of this song? Of course, he's going to steal it from you. You know why? Because you have no legal right. It's a dog eat dog world out there. It's either you eat or you be eaten. You got to be handed with the steel, if you know what I mean. Earn your keep. You can't just be some geek off the street. You got to regulate, man. Regulate. I'm serious. So, yeah. I thought I'd share that with you. All right, a couple of comments. Somebody says, today your, your graphics is, is clear. You know what I did? And I, guys, help me out here because, you know, I've got the lighting, but I don't do the lighting right. I've got my camera, my DSLR, but the, the lighting is, is never perfect for some reason. I don't know. But thanks for that. I appreciate that. Moses, if you know how to do lighting, come through my office. Help me out, man. Set it up. I'll pay you for it, you know? Yeah. So a few comments here. Um... Good morning. Mordecai is the best in Zambia from Abel Chungu Musuka. Well, how, how do you quantify that? When you say the best in Zambia, what do you mean? Th there is no body of work. A and, and let me also say, let me say something. All I'm saying is that people should prove themselves. They should walk the plank. They should yield themselves to the process. That's all I'm saying. You cannot be a superstar overnight. You have to have a track record. And this is one of the reasons I didn't like the idea. And this is just me. Okay. This is just me. I didn't like the idea after your maps. Uh, uh, he did 70% of hero stadium, which is a huge accomplishment. He didn't fill it up. You know, it was 70% full, which is massive. I mean, that in and of itself is a monumental achievement. And we applaud him and love him for that. I mean, for him to do that was just astronomical, especially against the backdrop of so many people saying, oh, it can't be done. 70% is no small feat. Let's be clear. That was massive. I didn't like that Chile One's team turned around and started talking about, oh, well, we can fill up Hero State, uh, not Heroes, um, Levi Mwanawasa Stadium. That's not your path. You need to yield yourself to the process. Just because your maps did a huge attendance over there at Heroes. It doesn't mean that now you have to turn around and say, okay, I also want to do it. Walk your own path. Build your own catalog of music. Over time, build your own catalog of work. Guys, you know the way it was in the old days? Now people produce music every two months, every two weeks there's a new song. Do it the way the, 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 the originators used to do it. Michael Jackson took four years to create the, the album Bad after Thriller. You know why? Because he knows the importance of a body of work. 
a body of work. I, I know some of you will turn around and say, well, those were different times. This is a different time. I agree. But my point is yield yourself to the process just because your, 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 your roadmap is different from your maps's roadmap. Just because he did it doesn't mean you have to do it the same way. Walk your own path and your path will be self-evident. There is so much glory in your own path. There is. I mean, guys, not to take it away from it, Chile Juan is amazing. He's an amazing artist and he's got his own flow and he must flow in that flow. But when you turn around and say, no, your maps did uh, heroes, I want to do Levy. You're, you're, you're selling yourself short because you're, you're trying to compare yourself to someone. It's like you're trying to play catch up. Well, he did that, so let me do it. No, music is not about that. It's about creating. It's about creating something that resonates with your fans and the people you connect with and the people that you care about. It's about connection. It's not about, you know, outdoing so-and-so. No. So that's my, that's, my, that's my view. What do you guys think? Tell me. Tell me, tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comments. Yeah. So this is Warren G. Yes, I love to I love to quote this line because it's such a great line. You can't just be some geek off the street. You got to be handed with the steel, if you know what I mean. Earn your keep. You got to regulate. That's what you got to do. Regulate. <laughs> All right. Well, hey guys. Um, All right. Let me read this comment. It's a bit long, but let's. This I think it's worth reading. All right, this is Shadrach. I listened to the Mordecai song, and I can sadly say social media page owners are praising him to get back at big artists. Yes, the boy is talented, but definitely not the way he's being portrayed on social media. We need proper music analysts in Zambia. And just so you know, I'm not jealous. I'm just being honest. This is so true. I absolutely, totally agree with him. Because, you know, on social media, people now are, you're turning, I know I said it earlier, for those of you that have just joined us, for those of you that were, uh, were with me from the beginning, I'm going to have to be repetitive, and please forgive my repetitiveness, but it bears repeating. Because of social media, you influencers, you're turning novices into mega superstars. When they're just starting out, it's like Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars has been singing since he was a little boy. He was a bit, he was, he was a, this high. He was a little tiny boy. He used to do Elvis Presley impersonations. And now, can you imagine in those days, Bruno Mars, somebody, some big influencer sees Bruno Mars right there and says, oh, Bruno Mars is the best as a little boy. It doesn't compute. Why? Because Bruno Mars at that age hadn't gone through the process. Today, Bruno Mars is a mega superstar. Why? Because he has a catalog and a trail, a body of work that you can look at and say, boom, 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 boom. Beyonce, same thing. JK, Daddy Masikwonse. A body of work that, that is traceable, that earns them the title of mega superstar. But you, you have a kid who just comes out today and through no fault of his own, let's not, let's be clear. This is not Mordecai's fault. Mordecai is a creator. He's just, he just, he just, he's doing what he loves to do. He's a music creator. I blame the social media influencers that prop these kids up so high, they haven't even proven themselves, and you're calling them mega superstars. And then you're using them against each other. You're voting, uh, I mean, that fiasco between uh, Chile One and Yo Maps, where you guys voted for Chile One as a protest vote against Yo Maps. That's not being creative. You're creating fluff is what you're doing. Let these kids be who they are. Allow them to be creators. Allow them to be, to be 
to be musicians. Don't, don't, don't pit them against each other for your amusement on social media, which is what you do, many of you. And, and it's sad. So that's what I think. All right. Appreciate you so much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the views. Have a great day. You go run. You go run and tell that. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondu. I love you, peace. I gotta go.